Hello there, this is Jen Nussbaum. Um, today I'm going to show you in my digital studio how to make business cards using a template that I, that I created. First of all, we're going to choose multiple op output options right here, and then next select 8.5 by 11 portrait. Then you're going to choose create your own. We're going to give it a name as business card, and we'll just keep it there, that's where I put everything. Um, let's choose a different one, business card two. Next, once this opens, we're going to choose blank page for the available folder layout. Okay, now I'm just going to zoom in a bit more because I like the look of the screen. Oh, maybe not. How are we doing with the... Alright, so, um, what we're going to do is we're going to click on embellishments over here. Add embellishment. And we're going to browse other. Now, oops. Okay, we're going to find um, where I put that. And I know where I put it. You can see where I keep all my stuff. Uh, let's see if I can find that. Yep. Should I use the toys? Should I put some of these here? Business cards. And then I'm going to select that. Now, that. There is your template. So all you really have to do now is choose a background paper if you want, or if you just want to use white, either or, or if you want to just maybe add um, a nice sort of side, let's say, just for a separate let's see what's here. I want to use Baja Breeze because I'm happy that they brought it back. So we're going to choose Baja Breeze. We're going to just drag it onto here to add it. You can double click on it or drag it, either or. Um, a little trick that, um, that's not what I want to do. A little trick that if you drag um, one of these papers into a photo box, it'll actually fill the photo box. That's a pretty cool trick that I kind of figured out accidentally. So we're going to add as page layer, drag it again. And wait for it to finish. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to resize it to be, I'm going to say, you can put it up here to kind of measure it, maybe an inch and one eighth wide. Um, well, I don't think that'll do. You want to give it some bleed off of the top and off of the side. So we're going to put it there, um, double click to resize it within that sheet and drag it down. Okay, we can, uh, hold on, I'm going to zoom out, oops, anyways, not sure why this is going square, but let's just go like this for now, who cares about that, um, you guys all probably know the proper way to resize that, I'm just going to rush through here, and then you can just sort of add your information, I'm going to add a text box, and I'm going to put Jen, Nussbaum, and then independent stamp bin up demonstrator. And then I'll just put my email address here. Come stamp with Jen at me gmail.com. And we'll just resize this box. I'm going to take that, select it, change the font. Lately I'm going to kick for this font here. I'm not sure if you guys have it at home, but I just really like the capitals and stuff. I'm going to put it down to maybe fun. Ignore my children screaming back there if you hear that. Maybe make this one. Oh my god, it's smaller. Make it maybe eight. And you can embellish it however you like. I'm not going to go that far. You guys can figure that one out. And you can also, I guess, one thing when you're doing it this way, ignore that. Just when you create another one, you're going to have a little bit off the side. Um, just to kind of have that bleed. You want to kind of put it over the side. So you'll have a little stripe there. And I hope that doesn't really bother you. If not, you can put it here and just cut it straight and cut it straight and just trim off any extra 
and that's it. That's how you do it. And then all you have to do is print. You can print out the cardstock or whatever you want. You can even print onto the templates that you just pop out of the sheets. Um, just what you'll have to do, um, just two things. Always try to keep this, bring it to the front, right click and bring to the front so that you can kind of see where things are in case you have background or whatever. And before you print, delete it. And that's that. I hope you all enjoyed this and let me send me any feedback, any questions you have. You saw my email address right there and I look forward to doing another tutorial for you. Take care.